Miss Camilla, hello. My sweet Camilla. I do uh, miss Richard quite a bit, but that Camilla takes my mind off things pretty easy. There's a few things uh, Richard could do that she could not. And a few things she could do that Richard could not. <laughs> Actually, you know, she I'm probably could give me a ride if I asked. No need to trouble yourself with me. Oh, uh, please, I apologize it's for my so innuendo. Nice what do you do out here? Hmm. Yes, I shall visit you for just a little while. We've got some death bell. Snowberries. Yes, ignore me. I'm not here. Hag raven feathers. Hmm. Many good regions here. I just must borrow these things, you understand? Are you coming back? No, she sits outside. Very good, you stay here. Oh, a trap door. What do you have in the cellar, my lady? Hmm. First, friends, let us read the song of the alchemist. This sounds relevant to my interests. Both of my interests. I love alchemy, I love songs. Ah, it is a part five, but I don't think I shall pay much attention to that. When King Maronian's alchemist had to leave his station after a laboratory experiment that yielded detonation, the word went out that the king did want a new savant to mix his potions and brews, but he declared he would only choose a fellow who knew the tricks and tools. The king refused to hire on more fools. After much deliberation, discussions and debates, the king picked two well-learned candidates, Ian Tippis Minturk and Emphatic Fire, the an ambitious pair, vied to prove which one was the best, said the king, there will be a test. They went on to a large chamber with herbs, gems and tomes, pots, measuring cups, all under high crystalline domes. Make me a tonic that will make me invisible, laughed the king in a tone that some would call risible. So emphatic fire and Ian Tepes Monturk began to work. Mincing herbs, mashing metal, refining strange oils, whoops, cautiously setting their cauldrons to burbling boils. Each on his own, sending mixing bowls mixing, sometimes peeking to see what the other was fixing. After they had worked for nearly three quarters an hour, Ian Tippis Manturk and Emphatic Fire winked at one and another. Certain he won, said King Maronean. Now you must taste the potions you've wrought. Take a spoon and sample it right from your pot. Minturk vanished as his lips touched his brew, but fire tasted hid and remained apparent in view. You think you mix silver, blue diamonds, yellow grass, the king laughed. Look up, fire, up to the ceiling glass. The light falling makes the ingredients you chose quite different hues. What do you get, asked the floating voice bold, of a potion of red diamonds, blue grass and gold? By Dwemer God, said Fire, his face in a wince, I've made a potion to fortify my own intelligence. Publisher's note. This poem is so clearly in the style of Gorefellum that it does not really need any commentary. Note the simple rhyming scheme of A-A-B-B-C-C, -C, the sing-song but purposely clumsy meter, and the recurring jokes at the uh, obviously absurd names Emphatic Fire and Ian Thuppus Monthurk. The final joke that the stupid alchemist invents a potion to make himself smarter by pure accident would have appealed to the anti-intellectualism audi of audiences in the interrogum period, but would certainly be rejected by the Dwemer. Note that even Marabar Sul refuses to name any Dwemer gods. The Dwemer religion, if it can even be called that, is one of the most complex and difficult puzzles of their culture. Over the millennia, the song has become a popular tavern song in High Rock before eventually disappearing from everything but scholarly books, much like the Dwemer themselves. Quite fascinating book. I like it a lot. I'm tempted to take. But instead, I will uh, look in the cellar. Just have a, a little peek. I should probably make sure that uh, first I will sneak. <laughs> ah, the rhyming's gotten to me, yes. The rhyming bug. Hey, there we go. I'm so scared what I'll find in the old lady's cellar. 
Yes, I knew she was into some potion mixing, surely. Hmm. Ruined books, skulls, spigot. Hmm. This in the cupboard. I did not mean to uh, take this book. Please, get this away from me. I wish not to have uh, a ruined book, huh? That doesn't make any sense. What use would I have? Hmm. Ah, letter. Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You only have to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together, we can form a proper coven, and your training will truly begin. Hmm. So she is a witch, hmm? I'm not quite surprised from the, uh, the things she had laying around. Death Bell, Enchanter's Potion. Hmm, all gives me a witchy notion. Ah, a flute, a drum. Well, I should like these things. Brandar should, uh, make great use of them. Perhaps I shall go rub it in her face, hmm? Yes. Let's see what I can brew. Something I might do. Restore health. As usual. Ah, and also fortify health. This is quite good. Hmm. Not much else I am able to do. Yes, I quit alchemy for now. Let us see. What other ingredients should I taste? Hmm. Ah. Damage magicka. Damage health. So many strange things. Nightshade is also damage health. Hmm. I must learn. Must learn, learn, learn. Snowberries. Hmm, that's quite tasty, actually. Hmm, should I taste the vampire dust? <laughs> Probably not the best idea I've ever had, but here we go. Ah, invisibility. Fascinating. Frost salts? Weakness to fire, that's about what I expected. Death bell, more damage health. Hmm. Ah! Alright. Can I make anything else from this? Yes, there's some damage health. Very good. Damage the uh, Magicas. Restore the Magicas. Wonderfully done. I shall be on the lookout for more ingredients. Perhaps I could sell some of these potions. Hmm, what is this? Potent paralysis? What exactly is potent? How long does potent last, hmm? Seven seconds, yes, this is like the scroll from, uh, from Morrowind. Well, I can't say that I'm disappointed with what I found here, but I must make sure she doesn't catch me climbing out of the cellar. Hmm, all seems well. Uh oh. I do know your secret. How did you know I know? I'm just an old woman. Now I'm going to kill you. Oh, I'm sure you have. Ah! Sorry, it had to be that way. I did not want this for you. Hmm. Not a bad body for an old woman. Got some, uh... Some black hair. I did not expect that. Only on the top. I didn't check to see if the carpet matched the curtains. Hmm? <laughs> ah. Brandar, that was not a nice thing to do. Srendar would uh, admonish you for that one. 
but it, I, I didn't see how I had too much of a choice. I tried to shoot some fireball spells to let her know that uh, I'm not to be trifled with. I have a few magic spells of my own, but still she comes. So what is Brandar to do, hmm? Ah. At least I have uh, stopped another coven from being born, hmm? Very nice. Uh, I did not cook the legs. I did cook some part of him, though. The little rabbit. Cute little rabbit. Should probably not do such things. Hmm, probably spent too much time around the undead. Must watch that thirst for blood. Indeed. Hmm. Nothing else there for me. Let's avoid the water. Up, up, up. Okay. Not quite. Legs, why you no do? <laughs> ah. Come home with me. Come home with me. Yes. I shall eat this later. It shall do me much good. And so I am back. Brandar has returned. With the golden claw for which Miss Camilla has yearned. Oh no, they're rhyming. It's taking me over! <laughs> I like it so much. Well, let's see what we can get for this. I think uh, it shall fetch a decent price. A hundred septums if I were to go sell it, but uh, what do you offer for it, Lucan? You're back from Bleak Falls. Ah, enough, enough. Did you find anything? Yes, of course. I you found you quite found a bit, <laughs> and here's your golden claw. There it is! Strange. Hmm. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Do not accuse me. I'm put this back where it Funny belongs. thing I'll, indeed. I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Quite welcome, Mr. Valerius. Oh, 400 septums. Quite a, a good value. Hmm. Well, I do appreciate that. Hmm. And where do you go, Miss Camilla? Thank you so ah. much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Take a look. My pleasure, my friend. Let me uh, sell you some of the goods that I found down there. I would much like uh, to be paid rather than to haul all of these things around, you know? Turn it into gold. That is that is my, uh, my thought with all these things. Yes, they are all enchanted. Hmm. I like this fatigue sword. Perhaps I keep this one. This one is for me, okay? You can have these robes I found on an old lady. Here's some boots of sneaking. Hmm, I need this circlet. But you can have the other. Oh yes, of course. You're more predisposed to me now. Ha! <laughs> Wonderful! Shield, yes, I need this. Gauntlets you can have. More gauntlets. Hmm. Well, I do plan to do some smithing. I shall hold on to them for now. Uh, more necromancer robes, maybe you like? Hmm. A hood, some more robes, conjuration robes. Oh, I've got so much jewelry for you, my friend. Here you go. Just load you right up. Oh, I got that from a uh, girder. Don't let her know that I sold it to you, please. And here's some vampire robes. Uh, they, they perturb me quite a bit. Hmm, I don't like to carry them around so much. Hmm, let's see if I could give you any of this. Two-handed weapons, are you interested in this? Yes, I think so. I think that's quite good. Hmm, that seems to be about all that I have to offer for you. Arvel's journal. Yes, this is for you as well. I did find it down there. Hmm, anything else? I think that is all for you. I could give you some ores, but... 
I'm going to try and figure out what to do with them. I will talk to the uh, local smith. All right. And also Camilla. Yes, sounds good to me too. Alright, see you later, friend. Hmm. Now where's Miss Camilla gone? I was hoping she would have some kind words for me. Oh, Lucan is done for the day as well. I could go in here. But I won't. That seems a mean thing. Oh, I brought the claw back for you. Here, let me sell it to you. Oh, there's Miss Camilla. Miss Camilla, hello. So much to us to have hello. The claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Uh, here's a letter. You know, Sven wanted to trick you into believing this was from Feindal. I was going to tell Feindal about Sven and have them fight it out, but. You know, I figure I just can be honest with you, and maybe you won't be interested about? in either of them. What's hmm? in the letter? Oh my, he—he he wanted me to think Fandal wrote this. Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Until next time. Surely. Well, I think I just may have screwed. Uh. Sven. Hmm. But maybe I could, uh, make Feindal have a little accident, hmm? Why do I want to call him Ferengar? Who is Ferengar? I know this name. Hello? Mr. Feindal? Are you in here? Tell me as soon as you've given to Sure, he life. is. I don't think Camilla's going to spend any more time with Sven, but I don't think you are either. Now, I feel bad about what I'm about to do. I don't want there to be any mistake about that, but it's something that I feel I must do for the sake of love. This is the only way I can see to uh, fix the mess that I have wrought for myself. So you sit there, you stay still. There you go. Hmm. Well. In one end, out the other. <laughs> I'm sorry for this faint doll. I do hope you understand. Ah. So hard when that happens. And now Camilla will be mine. Was it a dirty rotten thing to do? Perhaps. Perhaps so. But uh, Brandar has been known to be dirty and rotten from time to time. I will get what I want. And what I want is Camilla. The one, the only Camilla. Ah. <sighs> Let us uh, see if the innkeeper will let us perform with our new with our new instruments. You're that visitor. Hello there, we got rooms and food. Mr. Orknar. I cook, of course. Could I perform here? Thank you so much. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Of is just about. You're nothing but trouble. Okay. Sure. You're My nothing but trouble. Rest. Take a break. I fixed the situation for myself as best as I could, okay? That is what I do now. This song is called I Killed Feindal and Sven is a Sucker. Oh no, I can't play any of this song? Come now, come now. Uh, I don't know how to play the flute. I forgot. Dang it! How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. I have nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. I'm sick of this life. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm done. Thank you so much the war for the show. Are you joking? 
You just Can I have a room? We'll say it was free. Oh, I did? So I'll just go back there then. Okay, bye. <laughs> How embarrassing! I'm so embarrassed! Oh, Lord. Ah, I hope I did not admit any guilt in front of those people. <sighs> Anyways, tomorrow we shall be on to a uh, white run, is it? And we shall talk to the Jarl on behalf of young Gerder. And uh, perhaps the guards shall swing by Feindol's house and clean it up just a little bit. I should make sure not to use any more orcish arrows. Yes, I will remove them from my quiver, just in case. Throw them off the trail. Yes, I only use iron arrows. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Guard. <sighs> it was it, it wasn't so premeditated, you know. I just saw him there looking all smug, thinking that he would be with Camilla, and the rage took me, friends. <sighs> Anyways, I shall sleep on it. Hopefully, uh, we will we will be better in the morning. And until the next time, friends. Goodbye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. <laughs>